Today, I want to talk about how Charles Gasparino just admitted live on Fox News that meme stocks like AMC will squeeze. I also want to talk about how short so far this year are down over $145 billion. So stay tuned and let's make some money. Now, for those of you that are saying, Tom, what's with a stupid hat? For those of you that don't know, it's a Christmas tradition I do every year where I have a different stupid hat every single day on the run up to Christmas. And now I'm going to dive straight in with the key information. So, Robert tweeted saying I must be living in an alternate dimension. Charles Gasparino just said short squeeze and memes in the same sentence. He said I thought Charles Gasparino said that short squeezes and meme stocks and synthetic shorting was all just a conspiracy theory. And he said I guess the AMC apes were indeed right all along. So let's go through this video and listen to some of the key points between Liz Klarman and Charles Gasparino's discussion on the new SEC short selling rules. Obviously, I don't want to play the full video, just the key points. This sort of disclosure, the way you're going to have to figure out, you can find out like who is taking out loans, you know, it's much more, much more granular disclosure on who's exactly doing the short selling, like what fund. It's not just a broker dealer itself. Yeah. Um, this is going to lead to short squeezes more. And these rules would stand this challenge, and I think they will, based on the lawyers I spoke to today. Uh, we're going to have short squeezes on steroids. Can you explain to our viewers who don't know what a short squeeze is in a nutshell so that okay. we all understand? So it put one big hedge fund out of business, Melvin Capital. It crushed a lot of others. But you could see that happening. again. Now, the, when the Kessler says he wants to make things more transparent and that right. could cause short squeezes, meaning they will people who are trying to short certain stocks have to announce that to the markets. It's going it's to be announced more granularly. You have to announce it anyway, but you're going to find okay. not just the broker dealer, but mm -hmm. the fund. And then from what I understand, and this, make sure I read this right, the, the person actually doing the borrowing, you got to like disclose aspects of who you borrowed with and all that. And I think this is a, he's throwing a bone to the meme stock community. So there we have Charles Gasparino saying that when these new rules go through, which he thinks they will after speaking to his lawyers, it will lead to short squeezes on steroids. It's crazy how after all this time of trying to convince you that it's a conspiracy theory and how a short squeeze will never happen, he's now saying live on Fox News a short squeeze is pretty much guaranteed. Especially if these new rules go through, which he thinks they will. And not just will it be a regular small short squeeze, it will be a short squeeze on steroids. Now the potential reason as to why is because these short sellers are already down over $145 billion this year in 2023. They're stressed and it's about to get a whole lot worse. It says a late year surge in stocks is exacerbating the pain of short sellers who are on track for their worst collective annual loss since 2020, according to data and analytics company Ortex. Short sellers are down over $145 billion so far for this year from analysing short interest in 1,500 stocks. Saying 2023 has seen huge losses for short sellers and potentially the most interesting part is that short interest has actually increased by $9.8 billion for the year. That suggests that short sellers haven't closed out of their short positions and they've been actually doubling down on their bearish bets. They haven't closed out of $500 billion worth of shorts, they've actually increased shorts by an extra $10 billion. So even though these shorts are losing money hand over fist, instead of closing out, they're trying to add more. I also wanted to quickly go through Friday's options play on Nvidia, which ended up running over 100%. Many of the group locked in profits like Whittledog, who took a 33% gain. If you don't know how to train options, I've got tons of educational videos explaining options for complete beginners, how to set up your trading platform to trade options, and much, much more. Those educational videos teach you not only how to trade options, but how to trade those fast-moving momentum news plays, how to understand support and resistance, how to get into trades and out of trades, and how to maximize your profits. So be sure to check out the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group linked in the description below. Check out the new testimonials tab and become part of the team. And what's potentially even more interesting is back in March 2021, Charles Gasparino was actually warning of more short squeezes. And we know what happened back in June, so we know what's going to happen over the next few weeks or potentially the next nine weeks, according to Charles Gasparino. 
Back in 2021, Charles Gasparino was warning of possible squeezes in AMC, Viacom, Discovery, and other stocks. And obviously now, once again, he's warning of even more short squeezes when these new rules go through. Saying the new rules on short selling disclosures will lead to a massive uptick in short squeezes. But as I said, not just regular short squeezes, squeezes on steroids. Now on top of that, Robert also tweeted this video saying even this guy sees it. If you don't know who it is, it's Warrior Trading who runs one of the biggest investing YouTube channels, pointing out the clear as day manipulation. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm, it's hard for me to kind of understand exactly how a stock gaps up 400% on only 2,000 shares with no news. And I feel like this is hinting at something with high frequency trading algorithms or something with certain institutional players out there that there's some motivation to push these up and then we see the the fade back down and it's like it's creates liquidity that allows selling right so there we have ross cameron from warrior trading who's just a regular day trader nothing to do with amc gamestop or meme stocks even pointing out the clear manipulation saying it's likely something to do with high frequency trading or those certain institutional players pushing these stocks up for their own benefit aka for their desperate liquidity needs the OG Ape also tweeted saying, never forget when Michael Jordan was forced to sell his NBA team because he lost big when shorting GameStop. If you don't remember, Michael Jordan was invested with Melvin Capital and lost over $400 million shorting GameStop. As a result, he had to sell his NBA team to obviously rebalance his portfolio. So I wonder which big celebrity or who this time around will be destroying their portfolio from shorting meme stocks once more. Especially if, as Charles Gasparino says, the new rules on short selling result in a massive uptick in short squeezes on steroids. I imagine it's not just going to be one person blowing up their fund, but multiple funds imploding. Now the IC assistants also tweeted saying yet another devastating blow to those who bet against AMC, brought to you by the CEO, Adam Aaron. He said, I hope every paid Muppet behind the short and distort campaign enjoys the new suites and new revenue stream for AMC. Saying AMC is going nowhere but up. You may have seen AMC have just introduced a new range of suites again to increase revenues even higher. And with more revenues, it will translate to more profits, translating to more cash flow, translating to more debt being paid down effectively translating to a more successful AMC, which, similar to Tesla, Booking.com and other stocks over the years, will recover to new all-time highs. You'll remember that video from Friday. There's actually tons of stocks in the market, 10, 20, 30, 40 stocks, even more, that have been down 99% or more and have recovered to new all-time highs. And AMC will just be one more company on that list, down over 90%, recovering to new all-time highs. Speaking of which, Jurassic Ape also tweeted this photo that I thought was absolutely brilliant. The quote says, life is like buying a bag of AMC cinema suites. You never know which hedge fund you'll bankrupt next. And finally, Frank Ness has also tweeted about the new company that's now being targeted by short sellers. It says a new company now seems to be targeted by naked shorts. At least that's what a CEO and former Amex vice president are alleging. Saying CAUD has had a rather steady share price decline since 2021. The CEO has since purchased 190,000 shares, but claims there's a high probability of fraud at play here saying that hedge funds may have collectively shorted the company naked after the surge on October 25th. So again, it's just another company that is again falling victim to this synthetic shorting campaign of which the SEC seems to do nothing about. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.